Anomalies. All of the different kinds of life. Welcome to Lapis Fun once more. With my famous contestants in front of me. That, that's, that's your cue. <laughs> This is this where we're supposed to introduce ourselves? Yes. <laughs> I don't think any of us feel famous. So. I was gonna say, wait, hold up. <laughs> who, said, who said that I'm famous? Yeah, when did I'm we... the most hated animal that humans have ever met. A snake, a sea snake. We don't actually hurt people. We avoid people, but somehow we are feared and hated. Congratulations, I am a snake. <laughs> I pried the rainbow from the Christian God's hands. Wait, and then is that just it another it. way of saying you're gay? <laughs> yep. Awesome. Yep. I guess I guess go in order from Discord. No, because it's it's the fact that some Christians un unironically believe that gays stole and culturally appropriated the rainbow from Christians, like unironically. Yeah. All right. Hi, I'm Bookworm. I am Abel. The worm part of my name is uh, just metaphoric, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> you like books. Yeah. Hello, I am Snollygonder. Uh, I am the bastard child of the Snollygos or the Snollygond. No, I just fucking died a little. Are you okay? Not yet. Stay. <laughs> Fuck you. Uh, I I am the bastard child of uh the Snollygoster and Jormungandr. Uh, and thus I am the Snollygonder. Uh, I assume that uh, Grandpa slash Grandma Loki is responsible for me suddenly being here. <laughs> Rar. Oh my god. Hello. I am Dr. Drago, your local dragon elf <laughs> Ling. So... Hi. <laughs> I think Jerry's next. <laughs> I thought myself. No. Yeah, I did. I specifically introduced myself as a snake. Ah. <laughs> And then penguins started introducing themselves by literally saying, I stole the rainbow from Christians. Oh, yeah. Uh, as you can tell, all the contestants here are unusual in various ways. I have a propeller on the end of my tail. Oh. Some more than others. <laughs> Yep, like penguin. Hey. <laughs> okay. I'm the most propellers in any way. As a propeller alligator snake with a spike on its back, uh, that's descended from literal gods. Uh, I think I'm pretty normal. <laughs> no, you're not. <laughs> uh, you, you contestants, ready for your first question? No, but ask us anyway. Question one. Which two fandoms got the great Dr. Bright into the SCP fandom? The Skylanders fandom? One Piece fandom? The Alive fandom? Grim Fairy Tales fandom? Scary Stories to Tell in the Dark fandom? Or the Creepypasta fandom? Hmm. Backup was backup was data live just randomly thrown in there. I have never heard anything about Bright watching data live. 
Yeah, me you neither. Can you <laughs> answers in chat? Honestly, the only thing I think I've heard uh, Bright and Two on any of those are Skylanders. I think I so. Skylanders is definitely like something Bright is into. But um, I could also see Bright into creepy stories, despite that they have a weak heart and should not be into that. <laughs> oh, wait, okay, oh, wait, wait, no, wait, I know, she, I know. Okay, she's a creep, Chris, I, she's a creepy pasta fan for sure. She's mm-hmm. told us about that. He's so, told stories from creepy pasta, like uh, yeah. SN, yes, uh, Godzilla. But so here, oh, my thinking is. Skylanders, uh, scary stories to tell in the dark, and creepy pastas. So that's like, that's. Well, we're so, there's only two answers. Yeah, there's only two answers. Yeah. So, so wait, we... do we pick one? You pick one. Um, like, okay. To guess Skylanders because I think it would be weird if me and Bright got into, uh. SCP the same way because literally creepy pasta got me into the SCP things. Is that your final uh, decision? It could, it could definitely be one of the things that got her into it because she stated that two, that there are two that got her into it. Yeah, that and plus like yeah like I don't quite see the see where Skylanders kind of well, like, I what kind intersect of see, with SCP, but I don't know. I could kind of see the Skylanders thing. But like, yeah, she probably came in through most likely the uh, creepypastas and but I, I feel like the creepypastas are the most li- likely th- thing to get her into SCP. She might have even, like, said it. I don't know. My thinking is, is, like, creepypasta and scary stories to tell in the dark, because the thing is, Skylanders is kind of, like, that weird, not popular, but also kind of popular fandom, but that also doesn't, like, interact with the SCP, like, fandom at all. I feel like like you're kind of spitting on that fandom. No, I'm not spitting on it. It's just, it's kind of like, like, I like those games. It's just kind of like, it's, you know? It's less, it's less common. It's just, it's and, there. And it's also it like. Really interact it doesn't overlap with a lot of fandoms. It's its own, like, yeah. separate thing. It doesn't overlap with a lot of fandoms. It's just its own little bubble. The way I put my answer in. Is that and, your final decision? Yep. Don't we have, like, a few more yes. people that should answer? I can go right through the scary door. I like the scary door. Anyway, Jerry, is that your final decision about the Skylanders? Uh, J- Jerry? I said you- and go right through the Skylander door. I'm gonna lose a life, aren't I? Looks yeah, like Discord. there are three remaining for answers. <laughs> um, I'm gonna say... Yeah, I'm gonna say Creepypasta. Then go right through the Creepy door. Okay. Yeah, same. I think that Creepypasta is the safe bet. Then go right on through. Only one more <laughs> Dragon, confirm your vote. Oh no, Dragon put that. theirs in chat, yeah. Yeah, but Dragon didn't answer to confirm what they put in chat. Yeah. Then go right through, final contestant. Yippee. It looks like only one has died. The two fandoms that got right into the SCP fandom 
for was a creepy pasta fandom. No way. In the Skylanders fandom. What? Oh, kidding me? Ow. Thought so. I, ow. I could have sworn you had mentioned scary stories to tell in the dark at some point. They had say that it was a really good movie they they enjoyed. Uh. Right. Oh. But don't worry. He'll have company hatchet. As you can tell. <laughs> <laughs> Just that a- Sophie and Doggo. A fucking tanky doggo. Did, did you hat on it? <laughs> why did you why did you <laughs> why 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 is that murder doggo? Wearing a Russian hat. Is it in? It's specifically a Soviet hat. Meaning it's a fucking tanky. Tanky dog. Gross. Well, I feel like this was inevitable considering I'm somewhere closer to an anarchist. It's just politically debating you, but it's not even like saying communist shit, saying fucking tanky shit, and you it, it just kills you out of boredom. I don't know what tanky nonsense is. Uh, t- tanky is derogatory term used to refer to uh, quote-unquote leftists who defend the actions of totalitarian quote-unquote communist states. Oh. Yeah, the thing that wouldn't fucking I, work. Yeah, so i.e. disguised like Yoda. Yeah, i.e. <laughs> i.e. they are, like, they're, they're the guys that will, like, try to actually say that uh, Stalin did really anything good. Even though he was a homophobic piece of shit that killed, like, millions of people. Not millions. And quite, like, and quite like literally his I, actions. Are, I want to point out that in that category, Penguin, you're wrong for suggesting Yoda would be anywhere near that. No, a hatchet died like Yoda, as just, in just got appeared. so fucking just tired of dealing with the tanky doggos shit. Are, just, are you saying she passed on? A hatchet died like Yoda. I've been yeah. asked so many questions. They just died. Yeah, they got uh-huh. asked too many questions. No, and not even like questions. Just like fucking hearing just bullshit and just. Are yeah, you that's... saying Yoda died from stupids and now Hatchet will die from a stupid? Yes. Yoda just decided to leave because he's tired of existing in this world. Oh, it was like that's too real. Old. Also, yes, Kiri. Kiri? What the fuck, Kiri? Uh, Lennon, there tends to be a bit more discussion, especially since some of his earlier work wasn't nearly as authoritarian-based. But, yeah, like, one of the most common labels that tankies take on is Marxist-Leninist. Um, That's not to say that a Marxist-Leninist is inherently a tanky, but it's just one of the common labels they take on to describe themselves. Oh yeah, and fun fact, if y'all didn't know this, uh yeah. Um if y'all didn't know this, Stalin is uh pretty damn culpable for the beginning of the Holocaust. Primarily because um he expelled an extremely large amount of Jews from the Soviet Russia, which led to them trying to seek refuge in other places, including Germany. And that influx of people sparked a lot of the uh, fascistic tensions that led to the rise of the Nazi party. So yeah, fun fact. Anyways, as for the people who survived, you each not one grand. Oh, yay. Great, so I got talked to death by a stinking tanky dog, but I also am broke for it. Mm-hmm. Fuck. 
It's okay, contestant. You may get a prize on the next question. Are you guys, are you guys and contestants ready? Uh. Question two. Which two fandoms does the great Dr. Bright enjoy reading in? The My Hero Academia fandom, Fairy Tale fandom, Percy Jackson fandom, Black Clover fandom, Stephen King fandom, or the Star Wars fandom? I have never heard you talk about any of these. Same. I'm going to say I don't think I have either. Are you sure you've mentioned this before? I guess multiple times. Huh. Mind repeating them? My Hero Academia, Fairy Tale, Percy Jackson, Black Clover, Stephen King, or Star Wars. I agree with Adurna. Please write that down for the goodness of goodness. Okay. I've heard you talk about Hero Academia. I think I haven't heard you talk about others. I think. But despite that, part of me wants to say Percy Jackson without literally any evidence. Is that your final answer? Oh, I'm still thinking. Yeah, I don't think. I don't think Jerry was meaning that as a. That's just Jerry thinking out loud. Yeah. Okay. I've never heard Bright talk about reading fairy tale, Black Clover, Star Wars, or Stephen King. But you have heard them talking about reading Percy Jackson stuff? Every fucking mentally unstable queer has read Percy Jackson. I, I haven't read guarantee. I haven't what? read Percy what? Jackson. I have not fuck? read Percy Jackson. And I am what a very fuck? queer person. But I am also fuck? very mentally stable. What? How? Okay. You two are an but exception. One, those books were most... really popular when I was a kid. I'm older than you, child. Okay, but that's because you're yeah, in a different okay. fucking generation. Well. Okay, so there are two that exceptions. That would mean you're like, you're. I- I'm saying it's not the, the stand all be all for queer literature. It's not even queer literature. Yeah. Well, I mean, there yeah. are queer characters in Percy Jackson. There are queer like characters, queer but it's not... The main characters are not queer. Yeah, the main characters are not queer, and, yeah. like... Therefore, it doesn't count. It doesn't count. The only one you can potentially say from, like, so far, I think, is, like... What is it called? Um... Magnus Chase, because one of the characters in that is is like non-binary, one of the like main characters. Wait, let me look this up actually. If I remember correctly, I think they might actually be gender fluid. I don't know. I think you're talking about Nico, and Nico is gender fluid. Uh, oh, uh, uh, no. Uh, you're yeah. talking about Alex from yeah. Magnus Chase. Yeah. Talking about Alex. Mm-hmm. And and Alex is one of the main characters in the story, if I remember correctly. I haven't read that in a bit. Yep, yeah. Okay. So because so because uh I 
do not recall having heard any of these things ever come out of Bright's mouth. But I have recalled Bright gush about One Piece. Yeah, I have heard her gush about One Piece for sure. And which is interesting that she didn't put it on here. I'm pretty sure she knew that we would oh, yeah, choose that, would, that one. Yeah, that would become very easy to pick up yeah. on. But from there, I'm thinking, which of these properties is most like One Piece? And I would probably go to Fairy Tale because it's moderately uh, horny. Well, okay. It's zany as hell. It. We also have to remember that there are things that because you might not always like watch some like also like this is about talking about the fandoms. Well, yeah. So but... Star Wars fandom, that one is eh, because the Star Wars fandom is pretty fucking toxic. Percy Jackson fandom is better is better than the Star Wars fandom, I'd say. Wait, how is Star Wars fandom toxic? Oh, oh boy. There's there's a lot of um there's a lot of people who are like in the alt right who and like who are fascists who Oh, are fans is that of Star Wars. why they were upset that there was a female main character in one yes. Star Wars movie? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Well, and also a black stormtrooper. Yeah, they were they were upset about a black person being an being a main character. Even though lore-wise, it makes sense because mm-hmm. not all the stormtroopers are clones. Not only oh, yeah. that, a lot of the, a good majority of the clones were duplicated from one dude who wasn't white. Mm-hmm. Like, <laughs> that's a fair point. He's literally yeah, I... the only stormtrooper we've seen without a helmet on. Mm-hmm. I just realized he's the only stormtrooper we've seen without a helmet on. I think we've seen, uh, I know in spinoffs, like animated spinoffs, we've seen a few clones without, uh, like, yeah, without any helmet on. Well, clones are different than stormtroopers. They were stormtroopers. Stormtroopers, because, um, in the, I love how we were just, like, going through, like, oh my god. Well, okay, so like any of this shit, so it's hard. Storm stormtroopers, yeah, yeah. stormtroopers ca- came from uh, so like when the okay, I'm picking my hero. Take your final decision. Hero, but you're picking. Yes, I'm standing by it. Think you're right through the door. When when the empire like became the empire, they started like getting rid of, like, the clone troopers and retiring them from service. So, and then replacing them with, like, regular uh, people. Well, like, not regular people. With, like, people who aren't clones, I guess. Regular-ass humans. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Only four remaining. I'm thinking. Only four? Wait. Oh, wait. Okay, I thought there were one. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, I don't think it's... I know... I Okay, wait. I think I'm just gonna end up saying fairy tales still. I think I've heard right Is that your final decision? What'd you say, child? I think they've heard Bright talk about Black Clover like once. I don't remember. I've heard her talk more about my hero, so I'm going my hero. Is that your final decision? It's... Yeah, even though I think I right through the door. door. Actually, you know what? I'll I'll go with the two people who apparently remember things better. My hero. Get right on through That's the door. My final decision. Only... Are you sure you want to trust my memory? Because I don't trust my memory. I don't trust mine either, honestly. Only two remain. Well, I can see Bright liking My Hero Academia, and I already walked through the door, so it's not like I have a choice now. I think if I'm any... gonna go. I think I'm gonna follow you guys in through the My Hero Academia one. 
thing I ran into the door. Yes, yeah, same. Very bad if I'm wrong. Let's just make it all five of us. <laughs> yeah, it's we all, everyone either lives or we all die. Yep. Oh, well, that, funny thing is, very you all die. Damn it. Of course. Okay. What were the answers? C. Jackson and Stephen King. Oh, wow. Uh, I could have went fucking Percy right. Jackson. Look, I was fucking right. I saw Every god. Got... and chickened out of? Oh my gosh! There's one life I'm... left. <laughs> I'm only upset because I literally said out loud that I was, for some reason, I was positive it was Percy Jackson, even though I'm positive I had never heard Bright talk about it. I just feel stupid because I didn't think, wait, Bright's moderately obsessed with horror. Okay. Oh, wait, Stephen King? Okay, mm -hmm. I, I, I pulled up a list of, uh, of Percy Jackson weird characters, and it's a long list. So, this is only one side of the fucking list. And here's how all of you died. Getting it immediately... And constantly impaled by swords. Oh yeah, I, I can live with that. You know what? Fine. I already feel more. stupid enough for literally saying one of the answers and then going with a non answer. Sure. Yeah. Now, I will say this ahead of time. Uh, this question, I will explain each answer a bit more because. I don't feel as you would understand it fully. The question is, which one of these would be a devil fruit that great Dr. Bright would eat? Oh my god. The pop pop fruit, the tremor tremor fruit, the cream cream fruit, the mark mark fruit, the copy copy fruit, or the glint glint fruit. Oh my god. Now, for the explanations, the pop pop fruit basically allows you to that, that anything you touch will become a living bomb, or you can make yourself a living bomb and regenerate after explosion. The Dreamer Framer fruit allows you to create seismic waves enough to to separate the Earth as well as tsunamis. <laughs> the cream cream fruit allows you to be, make your body into cream as well as control cream at will. The mark mark nice. fruit. Anyone you touch, any object you throw after that, your the hand you, you touch them with, that object will instantly go towards that person. The smaller the object, the faster it will travel. Hmm. The copy copy fruit allows you to copy other devil fruit powers. And you can even stockpile them, depending on your body. The glint glint fruit allows you to control light as well as becoming light at will. Well, I mean, she is Dr. Bright. I. As a side note, could you put those all up on the board, please? Of course. Also, is that your final decision, Jerry? Yes. I'm just thinking about the love of explosions, and I'm like, yeah, I can't deny that's the best sounding one for that. Yeah, that that's a well, pretty like the copy, copy one. You also get to use explosives. Well, yeah, but the copy, copy one sounds more strenuous. It said literally, depending on the body. We are talking about the person who also prefer it's not to copy it. That sounds like you have to meet someone with it. Yeah. Yes. For a yeah, description of the copy, copy through. A normal, regular person can have up to five powers. Any, hmm. Anyone who's abnormal could be up to ten. 
see okay. them as a pop pop fruit type person. Yeah, pop pop fruit. I agree. Especially uh, since they would be able to recover themselves. Is that your friend with Susan, a guy and dragon? Yeah. Well, yeah. Then go right through the door. Only two remain. How many of these answers are correct again? I think it's two. No, it's one. Oh, it's one. Only one. Ooh. It really would be so fucking embarrassing if I, Bright's butt buddy, died, lost all my lives first. But I'm... Well, you're butt buddies. You're not soulmates. Silence. <laughs> I'm feeling... Butt buddies is their version of soulmates that are... Yeah. That are friends. I mean, platonic friends soulmates. soulmates are a thing. Anyway, um... We're contractual soulmates. <laughs> I, I think by pack. the definition of soulmates, I don't think what? That, like, being in a contract would work. Well, we are butt buddies because we entered into the butt buddy contract. Into the butt buddy pact. That said, I'm feeling copy copy fruit. Is that your final decision? Yeah. Then go right through the door. I'm scared, but yeah. Only uh, one remains. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I think pop pop fruit. I I am I do see that one. However, looking at all of them, I could almost see Mark Mark. Though I I don't. I'm trying to figure out if that's me putting some of my bias on it. Because Would you like a know. better description? Uh, sure. Well, if the user were to touch a building, depending on how far away the person was, it could travel up to 250 miles per hour. While if they were to throw a paper clip on impact with the person, it could explode due to how fast it traveled. Yeah, and that's part, hmm. Yeah, it sounds pretty bright. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. That's kind of why I'm thinking, Mark. Mark. Honestly, all of these kind of sound like something Bright would want to use, except for cream, cream fruit. Yeah. Watch, watch the cream, cream fruit be the answer. That'll be hilarious. Yeah, Bright just ended up actually really wanting to control cream of all things. <laughs> yeah. I think I'll choose the Mark Mark food because I got scared from the, the last round where we all went into the same door. Is that and your final that. decision? Yes. It was a wise one. Oh. oh the okay. answer was the Mark Mark fruit. God damn it. Seeing how oh, it's <laughs> it's the only devil fruit on this list that doesn't limit the user in any way. Except for being, uh, you know, the swim. It's once they touch the person, oh. they can throw an infinite amount of items. God damn it. Well, there goes Hatchet. Damn it. Bye bye, Hatchet. had limits. Yeah, you did. <laughs> Well, I mean, I, I feel like there would be some logical limits, such as uh, you can only throw so many of your body parts but you before you necessarily have to wait to regenerate. Mm -hmm. I thought the part about... fruit was make anything into a bomb, not any body part. Well, well you can also. Yes, you can explode yourself. Wouldn't it be easier to make other things into a bomb, not just yourself, though? Well, yeah. I'm just trying to think of practical limitations. However, if for everyone who chose the pop-pop fruit, you're immediately hit by a train. 
Thanks. I like trains. No. Can I cash in my butt buddy card to go to the Mark Mark Brute door now? You're talking no. about Laffy McLafferson, not the Bright. I know that, but... Get bent, loser. Fuck you, you got hit by a train. <laughs> hey, it's free top surgery, because now I'm, I, I am completely flat. Oh. Actually, no, it's more likely that you just got cut in half. Shh, I can have dreams. <laughs> and as for Fulcrum who live, they receive ten grand. Oh, Damn. it's increasing now. And it seems like we have one contestant who didn't even earn a single point and died. How did I die? You were hit by a train. Wait, what? I didn't... What? I didn't go yeah. into the pop, pop fruit. Oh, wait. I went to copy copy fruit. Copy copy fruit. I'm sorry. Alright. Hold on. Oh. Yeah, this was more bloody. Oh. Oh, dear. Oh. Copious gunfire. <laughs> wait, you what? Like Copious gunfire? Copious. <laughs> Communist? Oh, come on! A communist gun? Why? I di First, I died <laughs> from a communist dog talking my ear off about how Stenin was Stalin was actually cool, and now I'm getting shot by a bunch of KGB agents. What the fuck? I don't deserve it. <laughs> no. That's the fun part about life. It's fun. <laughs> Yeah, Laugh Laffy gets all the fun and we just die in terrible ways, which raises questions about Laffy. I get I I get to be a bullet riddled socialist. Now, as for the next question, I'm just drawing you're gonna hate this because I've barely mentioned this. So it really will test your memory. God damn it, right. All of these tested my memory. I, I apparently don't spend enough time with Bright. What SCP was the first SCP that Great Dr. Bright has ever read? Hmm. SCP-173, The Sculpture. SCP-354, The Blood Red Pool. SCP-002, The Living Room. SCP-963, Dr. Bright. SCP-682, The Heart to Destroy Reptile, or SCP-999, The Tickle Monster. I feel like I remember this one, but now I'm now I'm just a bullet-riddled corpse. Who will hopefully have people join me in death, so I'm not going to give any fucking hints. <laughs> I'm a very vindictive corpse now. <laughs> I, I'm 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 the child of one of Loki's offspring. I don't deserve this. Oh, <laughs> I'm cool. I have a propeller on my tail. Went out of style a long time ago. How can it be in or out of style? It's a body part. I don't know. I mean, I guess it's out of. Well, I mean, my my, uh, one of my oh, parents. No, I did is not still alive hear the question. Things. I'm sorry. Oh. So, are you contestants having trouble? I'm having uh, trouble trying to draw the lesbian flag. Yeah. Uh, Jerry, <laughs> the the question was, uh, which of the SCPs that are on the board was the first SCP bright red? I have no idea. I know it's so not just go right. with three five four. I know it's Is not that right. your final decision? I'm gonna go with the living room. Yeah. So Jerry and Madura, are those your final decisions? I guess. 
I shoot aliens in the afterlife. Go through is the pool door. Wow. But Darren goes through the room door. Is that your final decision, Dragon? Yeah. Then you go through the reptile door. Only one remains. (laughs) Hey, everyone. Good news. I reincarnated as a boy who was trained from birth to shoot aliens. Okay. Died. I just died, yeah. Well, consistent folklore. Have you thought of an answer? Yeah, I'm leaning towards the heart to destroy a reptile. I'm not quite sure why. Uh, it just. Can you even? Yeah, like there's just something about it that makes me think that this would have been your first one to read. And then, like, I have a post hoc rationalization of, like, oh, and it relates to Skylanders because reptile. So, yeah, I think I'll go hard, uh, hard to destroy reptile, final answer. And it goes right on through. Bright loves her reptile. <laughs> the dog she wants. It's not even Only like one dog. has lived. Not even a dog. The answer was SCP 002, the living room. Shoot it. God damn it. Now, let's find out how that he went through the pool door guy. You were burned in hellfire. I'm a homophobic, not gonna lie. Laffy, it's Pride Month. You think Laffy cares? Laffy could probably make it not Pride Month anymore. Honestly, actually thinking of it. No, you're also not realizing Laffy's non-binary. <laughs> hey, hey, homophobic and transphobic non-binary people can exist. That statement hurt my brain because of the fact that it's true. Trust me, I've seen some shit. But as a side note, before we continue, child, why did you tell me to die because I'm playing as Master Chief? No, you're playing as Master Chief. <laughs> now, as for the people who went through the reptile door, you're a dust and nitroglycerin. Nitro what now? Nitroglycerin. Okay, I drink it. Oh, you're gonna explode now. Yummy! <laughs> yummy, yummy. Both just explode. Now, as the one left living, you've earned $500. Yes, you are dead, Jerry. Four more life, right? So, who actually. Who actually entered the living room? Me. Can y'all see the shit that I've drawn? Yes. <laughs> nice. It is very nice. Now, since there's only one left, I want to do something a little different and fun. Well, I think I, I think. No, no, I think, um, Book's still alive. Wait. Uh, uh, no, I think I had one life at the end. I thought you had, I thought you had two. two. Actually, no, I think I, I'm out of life then. Yeah. I think I, I think I still have a life. Shh. You <laughs> died last round. Silence. I'm salty. Wait, hold up. Looking, <laughs> looking back at the yeah. score point board, it looks like you've only died twice. Oh, huh. Cool. For some reason, I thought I died a third time somewhere. 
because there's two left. However, I'm gonna do something special for for this occasion. So first I do one last round. Go ahead and choose one person you wish to bring back. Okay. Hmm. Jerry, I'm bringing you back. Why? I'm an idiot that kept getting things wrong, even when I knew the actual answer. I guess you deserve to try again, I guess. Thank you. He comes back from the dead. Now, for the final question. Which anime fandom was the first one to introduce the great Dr. Bright to anime? Eight Alive, One Piece, Fairy Tale, Campione, By the Grace of the Gods, or Camphor? Can you write that in the way? I, of course, contestants. Oh no, why did you have to put camphor on there? Oh, I have a question. Why the fuck is Laffy McLafferson less ableist than some, like, like some, like, fucking teachers I've dealt with? Wait, are you saying Bright has been inside an anime? Wait, what the fuck? What? what? I feel like I misheard the question. Why is Laffy McLafferson less ableist than some teachers that I have dealt with in real life? You mean... Hmm. Like, having actual fucking patience and shit. And, like, repeating questions. Why is an insane, uh... Uh... Overpowered godlike entity more patient than people who aren't gods? Fair point. But you would expect Lavi to be a piece of shit, and I mean, kind of. They kind of are. But, like, not. Really? I mean, like. I don't know. I, I have mean, mixed feelings about Laffy. I do not. I have not read a lot of Laffy. Laffy stories. is chaotic neutral, I think. I mean, chaotic neutral people are still able to be a piece of shit. Hey, I'm lawful neutral. I feel offended. Lawful and chaotic are different, though. Well, chaotic isn't bad. Food is chaotic Fair neutral. Fair point. Yeah, I mean, like, at least from what I've heard about Laffy, uh, and just, like, because, like, don't they, like, kill, like, they generally try and kill, like, bad people, so, like, it's... They generally only, like, yeah. only aim at bad people, but they typically aim at only bad people. Yeah. Yeah. They're wonderful, and they're worse guilt and fears. Okay, then what the fuck did we do, actually, thinking of it? I think they're just having fun. They don't exactly oh, yeah. keep us dead. Anyway, could you repeat the question? Because I feel like I misunderstood what you said before. Because it sounded like you asked... Uh, it sounded like you had said, Which anime has Dr. Bright been in? Which anime fandom was the first one to introduce the great Dr. Bright to anime. Oh! Okay. Great Alive, Peace, Fairy Tale, Beyond Me, Gift of the Gods, Conf Confer. Hmm. I only know two of these because I am shown in Chash. <laughs> I. The only two I don't know are Campione and By Grace of the Gods. I've at least heard of the other four. Actually, no, I've, I've say, heard uh, of it. You know the anime with the slime boy? It's that anime. Wait. Like the boy that has like a buttload of slimes as pets. Mm, that doesn't... Meaning it's more recent. It's a more recent anime. I don't think it was Camphor. Camphor. I think Camphor was a. 
is like a, uh, if I remember correctly, it's like a horror anime or something. No. Oh wait. I'm pretty sure it's a whor- it's a horny anime. It is. Because I couldn't. Hey, look I up. looked it up, and it involves characters that. Uh... Yeah. Well. Basically, the bracelet in her pants is a power. You can either have a saber, a fire ability, or a gun. Okay. I'm sure. Um, comfort. Yeah. Okay. Into a girl. Hmm. And yes, one male character weirdly has the brace that turns him into a camper, but campers can only be women. Hmm. So, yeah, he turns change. into a camper, he becomes a she? Yep. So... Okay. Well, I can see Bright liking that. I think the one that probably yeah. got them into it is probably One Piece. Yeah, I can see One Piece, but like, um... Is that your final decision? Due to yeah. how, like... I could be wrong, but you know what? I've been wrong a lot anyway. Thank you, right? Through the door. Yes. She did use Dare to Life in another one, but that could just be. Ugh, okay. I'm gonna look at. So I'm pretty sure these either. Okay. Aggressive key type. The old man is thinking. Shit. Wait, did did you call Adurna old man? Oh, I think it was you typing. Yeah. I'm typing, but I wasn't typing anything into the chat. <laughs> oh, I didn't know someone was typing in the chat. I just heard loud typing, and I'm like, yeah, that's a Jerry thing. Oh, oh, sorry. Why would they call Adurna an old man? He's not I old don't know, man. but Adurna was the only one we were waiting on, so I kind of assumed... Is it Bookmark still has season two? Yeah. yeah. I'm, I'm looking at it from the anime to see if, like, any of them might have gotten her into it. I picked fairy tale because some of those are newer, some of those are older. Yeah, you picked also, you, you not fairy tale, one piece. piece. I picked one piece, but the ones that are easiest to stumble onto by accident is one piece and fairy tale. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Also, the Grace of the Gods is actually a very new anime. Mm-hmm. Though I could see Camper getting right into it with how horny it looks. Okay. Um, Oh yeah, I've seen that around. Please stop doing on the stage. (laughs) Oh my god. Please erase the doodles on the stage. Okay. The ghosts right are back. the ghosts are making doodles on the stage. Nice. Yeah, yeah. 
The ghost found some ghostly markers. How the fuck do you shrink it? It won't let me shrink it. This is important knowledge. How the fuck? Then delete it. You could spin it. No more. Okay. Yeah, I'm. I don't know. I'm leaning between One Piece and Fairy Tale, but yeah, like it could be any of the others, I guess. What is? Okay, I'm looking. There's another one. Okay. Let's see. The grace of God, uh, the grace of gods, um, that anime actually released in 2020, so. Okay. I wasn't going to choose that one. $10. 2008. Oh, wait. I just got to look at the anime. Fair enough. Still playing, or yeah, we're still playing. Yeah, uh, we're stuck on her. <laughs> Fun, bright fact she is wanted in, wa in Washington. <laughs> what? What the wait, what? She is wanted in Washington for her several war crimes committed against the Washington Capitol. That is a fact. Do not fact check me. Are you? When someone says that, that means you are definitely wrong. I am yeah. never wrong. You're a child. Of course I you're wrong. I am never wrong. You're wrong a lot. I yeah, am you're one of I am never incorrect. Old. I am never yeah. incorrect. You are That's the most why. consistently incorrect here. No. Uh, I am never wrong. Except all the oh. times you are. No. Yep. You know what? I'm gonna change your name in Bright Server. Oh. <laughs> I'm always correct. That's a lie. There we go. A large, hairy Bigfoot man just yelled at me, are you afraid? What? Wait, what? Playing Halo. Okay. Oh. <laughs> Love the name. Love the name he gave them. Okay. Black human climbers in has returned. Welcome back. Oh. Okay. So by grace of the gods is out. Why 
ายซื่อThere's still a lot of April Fools. Oh yeah. So, yeah, I feel like I'm like stuck between Fairy Tale and One Piece currently. What the fuck is the child's name and right server? Lesbian penguin. As it always has been. No, I said, where is it? The child god. Yeah, because I'm not it's seeing right, it. Right under the bots. Penguin changed it again. Um, no, I don't see it. That. It has always been that. It's not there. Fucker. Child who is wrong. <laughs> Stop fucking mothers. Does that help? Ah, uh, there we are. Child who is wrong. No, no, it's 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 penguin lesbian. Penguin lesbian who is wrong. No. <laughs> it is also a child. That's obviously Photoshop. You know what? I'm gonna say One Piece, I guess. Is that your you, but... final decision? Uh, <laughs> don't ask me that. Okay, I guess I'll. Uh, I guess I'll think about it a little bit more. <laughs> I just. Ah. Bookworm, what about you? Um. Yeah, I'm. See, I I was thinking between One Piece and Fairy Tale, though. I'm thinking about just throwing out Campione, just because I'm like, it's not. I don't think it's like super mainstream, so I'm like, I'm wondering if that could be how Bright got into anime, but I don't know. Mm -hmm. But then again, I, I don't out. know because like you could have. Uh, because she should have got, she could have gotten into it with One Piece, and then like that would have been neat if like you actually kept up with it since mm -hmm. the beginning all that time. Well, well, tech she couldn't because I, if I remember, wait, when I gotta make sure I got this right. I was about to say, I'm pretty sure One Piece is older than Bright. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it started in like October nineteen ninety nine. So yeah, <laughs> yeah, I forgot about that. Thank you for making me feel old. Sorry, you're a fucking millennial, and everyone else in here is Gen Z. I feel like that should have been a given. I'm actually old, and one day you'll meet a real old person. My grandparents. I'm surrounded by real old people all the time, and also work with an uh, like an eighty year old woman. Uh, sometimes I had to clean out her fridge a few days ago. Uh oh, she had a lot of cheese. She had an entire drawer filled with cheese. Wait, and why? then she she kept seasoning in in her fridge too. But yeah, she had a lot of cheese and a lot of yogurt, like plain yogurt and like big bins. Um, but yeah. right, the uh, hold on. This whoops, the show <laughs> stage has accidentally disappeared for a bit, so I was trying to delete certain things. <laughs> oh no, there. <laughs> oh no, we have waited too long. Lappy threw, threw us into the void. <laughs> Yippee. It's time for a new stage, anyway. Well, like, okay, so I was think the reason, so one thing I was thinking of was that because based on the name Comfort, she could have gotten in through that, potentially. I don't know. 
Oh, geez. Like, Some of these uh, gay pride gifts are kind of gruesome. Oh my, oh, yeah. I was on a trans lady's, uh, like, gaming. She was playing Pokemon, and there was a lot of people spamming her live with, when is the gore gonna start, and weird shit like that. Like, not even just hating on her, but just, like, it's like, oh, what the fuck? Thing about I was playing Pokemon. Oh, oh. On a TikTok live stream, and people were like, never mind. And it's like, oh. So, I guess I'll go One Piece. Is that your final decision? I I said don't ask me that. <laughs> I'll, I'll, I'll I'll say yes, I guess. Wait, what the what? Oh no! This is the new stage. <laughs> I I think I'll go with fairy tale just to cover uh, the two that we were kind of bouncing between. Is that your final decision? Yes. Well, it looks like the first time ever, no one makes it out alive. Um, was... That's already happened before, dumbass. No. Sure. I brought you back from the dead, remember? And then there was one winner. I think you did bring. There was no, one no, time no, where no, you. Like, no, this is talking. Hold up, this is talking like the entire game. Everyone's dead at the end. Uh, mm -hmm. Yes. Well, like, if I remember correctly, like everyone did die in like one game. Yes, but not at the end. Anyways, Bump camper, wasn't it? It was camper. Yeah. Oh. God damn it. That's... How did you get into such a weird anime? As the first anime. You typically get into weird animes at after the first or second or third. Okay, but right so... is weird in general, therefore you can't expect anything. Oh no. Yeah. I messed up the moment I thought through things via logic. Mm -hmm. I should have just thought which one she would have liked first. And of course, a Camper would have made sense because of all the boobs. Anyways. Was that your trans awakening, Bright? No. Anyway. As for people who went through the One Piece door. <laughs> Tell me, it's Doggos. It's Jack. The brother Finn. Suffer the same fate as I. Now, as for the people with you, fairy tale. I'm sorry, just real quick. I I love this image so much. It's such a terrible, it's such a terrible Photoshop, but it's so stupidly funny. <laughs> Anyways, as for people with you, fairy tale, you were blown to smithereens by a communist thing. Yep. So it's oh, why are you obsessed with communists today? Yeah. Wait, 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 wait. It's it's literally a tanky. Oh my god. Also, isn't oh, you got I... killed by it. Oh no. Also, that's a very recent tank. What model was that? No idea. As that looks like something that would be from the more modern Russian military. Which isn't communist. Yeah. Yes. Anyways. Like drawing. Get rid of it. No drawings on the stage. But he's a penguin in a top hat and a cane. Hold the no drawings on the stage. Damn you. I can't even see it. But looks like no one is to live. First time ever that I get to keep all of you in my torment of that was fun. <laughs> I I just have the 
do we ever actually leave this place? Like, I gotta ask. Like, like you say that we leave, but we always end up back here. I feel like, I feel like we're just stuck in a warehouse that you alter constantly. Maybe. And when we're not playing, everything seems normal. But then you're just, we just end up back in the warehouse when it's time to play. I believe just you're correct. Like. We never actually leave. We're just put to sleep for a while. Or, we're oh, the- or we're in the never-ending room or whatever the uh, horror creepypasta was. I don't remember what it was. No end house. Oh, yeah. No end house. Yeah. It's unlikely that we're in the no end house. As the no end house suggests power uh, in someone's hands besides Laffy McClapperson. And Laffy McClapperson is the only one with power here. I mean, it could be Laffy owning the no end house. I don't know. Any last words you guys have to say before you get thrown into the pit? Uh, right, first anime is boobs. <laughs> Which makes sense, honestly, because she is trans. No, no, that's not why it makes sense. She's a pervert, that's why. She's a pervert <laughs> who's lured into anime by boobs. Perverted asexual. <laughs> Just waiting to be called on. So if anyone had any last words. Oh, well, um, yeah, but my, my bit requires me to actually have someone call upon me for a time at the end. Catch it. Uh, and remember, Ki- oh. go ahead. I, sorry, I was going to say uh, like, subscribe, follow Bright on Twitch. Um, Bright be a bird and help Bright with Kofi if you can. Yeah, and yeah, and like I was gonna add, yeah, like, subscribe, follow the Bright, uh, and make sure to watch all of her videos multiple times so that you do not end up like all of us chap uh, in torment with Laffy. <laughs> You can survive this test. <laughs> Face it, us being trapped here is a, has nothing to do with if we watched it or not. It has to do with Laffy McLaughlin finds us entertaining. <laughs> well, yeah, I know, but like, we don't tell them that. We have to let them know. We we have to make them believe that if they comb through every video, every second of Bright's content, uh they might have been able to figure out all the secrets. Like Bright's phone number. Oh no. No. Oh. We we don't want we don't no. want people to learn that. Dragon. Is that all for everyone who wishes to say last words besides Edit? I have I have one more thing to say. I actually I didn't even mean said anything. Right is a bird that you should give all your money to. And probably a bagel. Bright give bright bagels. I don't even know if Bright likes bagels. Now, contestant Hatchet, you said you had some last words you wish to say. And remember, kids, I hope you've subbed. I'm still holding the gun. Well, then. I just eat the gun. I hope you audience enjoyed watching the torment of these fellow contestants. That will most definitely 
some work for me. We all, we all got killed by communists. 